Hey, welcome everyone back to the another episode of Fading Hearts featuring your hosts, Ryan and Matthew. Hey there. Um, so, to recap last episode, we confronted Claire and Rena about Claire's potentially abusive boyfriend. Um, we discussed things with the nosy newspaper reporter, Sophia, asking what she knows about this. Who is and- new best girl who's new best girl uh and she advised us that there is this group of people called the wings of light who are basically a bunch of heartbreakers who could destroy any relationship and that one goes to our school so we're thinking we could probably end claire's abusive relationship by getting one of those guys involved and sophia tells us in one of the most shocking plot twists i have seen (laughs) since the sixth sense We've discovered that that member of Wings of Light who goes to the school is none other than Alex, the weirdo weeboo kid who we like to hang out at the arcade with. So, we were about to go talk to him to try to get his help, but now we've come across Rena, who wants to talk to us about her little freak out earlier today when we broached the subject of Claire's abusive boyfriend. It's going to be another one of those episodes, guys. Get ready to listen to this guy talked to himself for 30 as, minutes because as a reminder i voice both ryu and rena and their conversations go absolutely nowhere and are really long all right let's do it oh we wander around a bit until we discover an empty hallway oh i just smacked my microphone nice I'm really sorry for this morning. She always looks so sad. It just breaks my heart. (laughs) I'm just so worried about Claire. You should be too, you know. In light of what Sophia told me, I can't really downplay her fears. They're more than justified. Oh, I should also bring up that, just as a recap, Sophia did tell Ryu that Claire's boyfriend, who Ryu has never met, is some guy named Mark who lives in another town who apparently got arrested for assault, but no one pressed charges. Because he's in the mafia. Because he's in, like, the mob or something. So Ryu is just just jumping the gun and saying that this guy is definitely hitting Claire. I'm not an unreasonable conclusion, to be honest. So yes, to continue. They're more than justified. I'm concerned, but we can't act rashly. We have to wait. But I saw it, Ryu. He knew that awful storm was coming, but he made Claire wait for him in the storm for hours anyway. And when he finally showed up, he just started yelling at her and calling her the most awful names (laughs) and threatening her. And then he pushed her down. (laughs) Holy shit. This, that's just this samba of awful. You saw all of that? Rena takes a deep breath and looks at me steadily. The fear in her eyes is all but palpable. Yes. I saw the whole thing. And you didn't do anything. You fake. <laughs> this feels incredibly like a lie. It does, but why would she lie about this? I don't know. Maybe she loves Claire and wants Claire for oh, herself. She, or she wants her boyfriend. <gasps> Ooh, that's a good idea. <clears throat> Please, Ryu, we can't let this happen again. But we not, Rina's never met Mark. Yeah. Right? Well, neither has Ryu. <laughs> they didn't even know how old he was. <laughs> Claire won't listen to me, but I know she will if you talk to her. What do you think I've been doing? (laughs) Right. I'll try to figure out something to get Claire away from her boyfriend. You do your best too, okay? Between the two of us, there's no way we'll let that scumbag win. Ryu should just suit up and go beat the guy up. This needs to be a superhero game. I learned a new thing. Well, you can turn off the interface screenshot time boys 
Why would you screenshot this? <laughs> she looks so distraught. That's the point. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> right. Good always triumphs in the end. Oh, man, this character would just be so dead in just about anything. <laughs> That's the spirit. Would you like me to walk you home? Actually, I have something to do. Sorry. She has to go fight a fucking thousand monsters. as messed yep. up. That's okay. I have to get going myself. Take care, Rena. See you, Ryu. Drat. Such language, Ryu. I should have asked her about what Sophia said. Did she really quit all of her clubs without telling anyone? I dump my school bag at home and change it to casual clothing, then leave to meet Alex. <clears throat> that was only a five minute conversation. Yeah, Good that job, was. Good job, Rena and Ryu. Uh, yeah, that was refreshingly succinct. Oh! Hello, Ryu. Glad you could make it. Let's head over to the cosplay cafe. I'm going to bring my electro costume. <laughs> did you remember your Captain Marvel costume? <laughs> How did you con me into this again? He asked and you said yes. <laughs> <laughs> And that creepy fucking statue. Oh, oh, and she's calling the master. She's dressed as a maid. Oh, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. Welcome back, master. Oh, oh. this is so uncomfortable. It's like I walked into someone's quest thread. Oh, it's so creepy. <laughs> Why does it look like this? <laughs> what is the point of this place? It's a coffee <laughs> shop? Where the baristas dress up as maids and call you master? Oh, it's like something out of a John Waters film. <laughs> what I the like, fuck? I like this the best. Just next to the drink, they just there, sit, There's like... like Three more of those up on that shelf. No, they just set anime figurines next to you while you drink. Ah, uh, what the fuck is that purple thing on the shelf? Is it like a bird or like a fairy that's like got its back facing us? <laughs> oh, oh, and there's a TV in the back, and there's a dress in a glass case. What is this? <laughs> oh. oh I <laughs> I was not prepared for this. <laughs> oh, this is not what I signed up for. Oh, this is so creepy. Okay. <laughs> that was like two minutes straight of just laughter. All right. Whoa, master! I've never been addressed that way in my life. It looks like I have a new master today. What the fuck? <laughs> That is correct! Oh, Ryu? This is one of the maids working here. She is versed in Klingon, Arabesh, and Kenya. I am very happy you came to see me today, Master. <sighs> and you, Master. <laughs> May I it take puts, your orders? It puts the lotion in the basket, it puts the lotion on its skin. <laughs> Again. <laughs> we'll both have today's special. I see two specials coming up. Uh oh, oh. I can't do that voice without putting both hands on my cheeks. Ugh. <laughs> What's the special today? 
That was not Ryu's voice. <laughs> Whatever they have lying around that's about to go out of date, probably. What does that mean? Is this a brothel? <laughs> I'm kidding. The food here is really good. In the meantime, just relax and relish the atmosphere. They have 15 different harem animes to choose from on the table screens. I'm not sure I want to. You and me both, Ryu. Ryu is basically <laughs> you right now. Yeah. Why not? It's pretty weird to have a girl your age following you around and calling you her master, you know? Master. It's like to It's like talking to 4chan. Alex is 4chan incarnate. <laughs> Yeah, okay, it is pretty weird, but hey, at least she she's cute, and maids are the best. So now Alex just told us about his maid fetish. <laughs> I glance around, cautiously, taking in the brightly colored posters and figures decorating the room. <laughs> there sure is lots of anime stuff. <clears throat> I make a bland observation trying not to stare at the other patrons. I wonder what attracts people to a place like this. I just imagine that all the other patrons... <laughs> loneliness. I imagine that all the other patrons are just like neckbeards who are like sitting across tables from their body pillows. Do they sell any of it here? They do. There's plenty of manga you can buy if you're interested. No. <laughs> And they do enough business to install that expensive widescreen TV. I nod at the massive plasma television set up on the far end of the cafe. It's currently showing brightly colored images of perky girls dancing to some high energy song. Ugh, it's playing J pop concerts. <laughs> this is hell. This is my hell. <laughs> Big screens are vital to a cafe like this. Whenever an anime special airs, they turn it into an event. It's great to hang out with fellow fans and watch the drama unfold on such a nice big TV. Have you ever met anime fans? They're anti-social shut-ins. They pirate it and watch it by themselves. They're not gonna go hang out with people <laughs> like they're watching the fucking Bears game. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like fun, I guess. This is exactly why I chose this game, viewers. <laughs> of course, anime events are fun. Oh, oh, and the more people, the better. One time, I even went to a convention in Japan, and there were about half a million attendees. Oh, the body odor. Mm. <laughs> wow. I didn't realize it was that popular. Yeah, the anime... Your mic got really quiet. Space. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Is it better now? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. Yeah, the anime and doujin industries are pretty huge over there. Oh, God. Are you turning the volume down? Oh, what is the music like? Here's your order! Two strawberry sundaes, please enjoy, master! Oh, that is so weird. <laughs> and you, master... <laughs> you know, honestly though, creepy, like, like a basket case, female sub stuff that this girl seems to be into, I'm digging the red hair. <laughs> it's, it's a nice shade, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. But her eyes are soulless. Yeah, they're, well, it's an anime character. They're gone. All I know is that, like, if I saw a character who looked like- who was, like, the real-life version of what this is supposed to be, I would be pretty, mm, Like, if I, if I was at, like, a Starbucks or something. Will you be coming again on Friday this week? You bet! I can't wait to see a childhood friend win for once. Huh? I don't know, the Sundere is pretty popular. It seems like she might win this time. Oh fuck, what the fuck? They're talking about the game! <laughs> <laughs> oh... Oh, I can't handle this. 
This meta bullshit. What is happening? <laughs> uh, uh. What on earth are they talking about? Seemingly oblivious to my confusion, the maid turns and hands me a card. Why don't you fill out this survey, master? You'll be entered into a draw to win a collector's edition of Storyteller's Eternal. I don't even enter those customer- I don't even fill out those customer service surveys for places where I want to be. He's so happy about it, though. Look at him, <laughs> Alex. You're such a sweet- Oh! 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 That is a sweet prize. There were only a few hundred of them ever produced, and they pulled out all the stops for the bonuses. I have not been this excited since I first laid eyes across the first issue of Naruto Shippuden. <laughs> Ooh! I think that's what it's called. <laughs> There's an actual copy of the Librum of the Gods, and even a working replica of Yuri's loot. What? Yuri is... okay, yep, uh-huh. <laughs> Would you like to fill one out too? Ooh! Ooh! She hands Alex another card. Of course, the production values on that game are always fantastic, and the character designs by R as... By R as incredible <laughs> as always. I especially loved her art for the cat girl twins from Aliens vs. Felines. The attention to detail on their ears was... Hmm... <sighs> It's getting harder and harder to believe this guy could ever land a girlfriend, much less be some sort of legendary playboy. Who falls for a guy obsessing over things like the cat girl twins from Aliens vs. Felines? But I guess there's no harm in asking. Oh, shit's about to hit real. Zero to fucking 60. I huh? fill out the survey and scribble down my email address and other contact information, then hand the card to the maid. Thank you very much, Master. Alright, here's mine too. Ooh, ooh! <laughs> Alex hands the card back to the maid as well. Thanks very much, Master. I do hope you enjoy your Sundays. Are you eating ice cream for lunch? <clears throat> uh huh. Now that the maid is gone, this is probably a good time to confront Alex. Say, Alex, <laughs> can I ask you a question? Dun dun dun. Sure thing. I heard that you're a player. A player of Sega Genesis? You heard correct. He even fucking says that! <laughs> <laughs> no, not that kind of player. I mean, like, you like picking up girls. Well, I have been playing a lot of dating sims lately. You need some advice on one? Shiori's route in Sora no Shoujo can be pretty tricky. I am sorry to any actual anime fans slash real Japanese people out there if I am butchering this. <laughs> I don't watch anime. <laughs> no, 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 I meant in real life. Picking up real girls. That no! was not Ryu's voice at that all. That was not Ryu's voice. Ryu is dying. <laughs> Ryu is dying. I'm just getting caught up in everything. <laughs> <clears throat> Don't be silly, Ryu. Things that work in galges... Huh? Galges? Galges? <laughs> Don't what apply in real life. If you teased a sundier, or a sundere, I bet she'd hate you. This guy keeps, like, towing the line between comic book guy and George Takei. Uh-huh. <clears throat> I thought you already pl I thought playing dating sims would help you get a girlfriend. You're sadly mistaken. Oh, if you thought this is So this guy knows that he could get a girlfriend at any time. Oh shit, there's no music playing. Uh-oh. Alex, listen to me. I heard you used to be a notorious pickup artist from a group called the Wings of Light. <clears throat> I need to know if it's true. I I need help. Ryu. Just listen. My friend Claire's boyfriend is abusing her. I have to make her break up with him. If you know anything about how to help her, I... Please, you have to help me out. You're serious, aren't you? Ryu. 
I don't like girls. There's too much trouble. Anime girls are much simpler and less demanding. <laughs> right. He's not denying it outright. If he wasn't one of them, wouldn't he just say so and laugh it off? Doesn't he look so smug now? <laughs> I don't know what's happening with this character, <laughs> but I like him. <laughs> if he doesn't want to help me about it, I, can t I can't talk to him. But maybe I can still get him to help me in a more direct, indirect way. So, if you're if you were designing a dating sim, how would you make it more realistic? Hmm, that's a good question. Well, first I'd add a special stat called personal strength. It's a tutorial. What the fuck? Personal strength. What's that? It would represent things like your confidence and self-esteem. If your <laughs> PS is low, then you won't have good conversations with your dates, or you might have fewer choices to improve your relationship. What the fuck? Has it's been three hours in this game and we're getting a tutorial now? What? Mm. Oh my god, alright. Next one. Okay. But how do you gain or lose personal strength? If you want to improve your intelligence, then you study. If you want to improve physical skill, you work out. But what about personal strength? Well, resting would give you a slight boost, but that's a pretty inefficient way of increasing your personal strength. Mostly, it would increase from successful social interactions. Hanging out with people a lot would be the best way to raise it. But saying the wrong things in a conversation would decrease your personal strength stat. Alright, I see where this is going. We're about to get into the grind of this dating sim. Ah, uh, it is. It is a Japanese RPG. Yep. But wouldn't that lead to a vicious cycle? If you had a low PS stat, you wouldn't have good choices to raise it. So you'd never get it very high. Hmm, true. That kind of thing would have to be balanced properly. I think there are a few ways you could do that. Like... Talking to other people who aren't romantic interests, for example. So, talking to your friends? Yeah, it's a little cliche, but you typically have at least one character whose role in the story is to give the player information. Talking to that person would help. Ah, oh, the meta! An informant? Well, I have one of those already, though I don't know how much I can trust her. But, I suppose it would be game-breaking if you could just gain PS whenever you called up that character. I wonder how I could fix that. Okay, so having high PS would generally be a good idea. Yes, it's generally good to have high self-esteem, Ryu. <laughs> what is the point of this conversation? <laughs> to teach the player how to play. Yep, the PS stat would have a cap like other parameters, but the limit wouldn't go up as easily as hit points or mana points would. I don't know if that's what MP stands for. If there's a magic, if there's magic, shouldn't there be some kind of recover PS ability? No way, that would be too easy. But maybe a few PS points would completely recover all of your MP. I don't know what MP is. I don't know. Personal strength is really the key to everything, then. You got it. It's a start, but what about the dating aspect? Okay, okay. So how would you actually get a date with a girl? Well, normally you would focus all your time on a girl, and eventually she'll start to like you. There should probably be more to it than that, though. More? Like what? All you have to do is spend time with her, then it's too easy, but you don't want to make it feel unnatural or too hard, either. It's something that the game developers are always struggling to find the right balancing between. Oops, balance. I don't think we can work out all the mechanics in one session over strawberry Sundays. Yeah, probably not. We chat a little bit about dating sims and various anime series before we part ways. Get the number of that waitress, Ryu. That's true. Oh man, this day has been a roller coaster. We just learned we were in a dating sim. Yeah. 
I'm already worn out, but I should probably check my email before I go to sleep. Oh yeah, see if Neuromancer sent you anything. Van oh, that is new... so sinister looking. <laughs> Van new message. Hmm. Let's see what we've got here. Were you looking for me? What the fuck? The player. Himitsu Nag... Nakagimu. Nag Nakagimu. Party. So, Ryu, I heard you were looking for me. What? It's him! I once thought it was wrong to do these things. Hearing your story, I realized there are far worse evils out there. Who is this? I've decided to lend you a hand, but in return, you will promise not to tell anybody about this. This is Alex? Do we have yeah. an agreement? In that moment, I realized my one sleepy little world was beginning to rapidly spinning out of control. Ah, oh, the English. <gasps> what?! What's going on in this game? What? This, Ryan, this is the intro. <laughs> what? Oh shit, that's Mystica? Um... Uh... Tracy's a character? The maid is a character? Sophia, best girl! I'm just this imagining is... the Marco Polo soundtrack playing over this. That's oh, Ryu! Oh shit! We saw Ryu! Freak through illusion. <laughs> this song is getting intense. What is it? I'm just here silence. <laughs> Yeah, that's unfortunate. Whoa! Whoa, sex scenes. Whoa, someone's a Whoa. coma. Whoa! Is this the ending credits? Or the I open? hope not. Oh, is he opening to get your brain me? They're crying? Morning. All right. What? Well, with that. It took us three <laughs> hours just to get to the opening credits? <laughs> With that, I think it's time <laughs> to end this episode. Yeah, I think this is a good stopping point. Um, thanks for watching, everyone. This was by far the weirdest episode I think we've done. I think so. But now we're getting to the grind of what it looks like this game will be about, so that's a good save point, actually. Yep. So, um... Everyone out there, if you're watching this, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And be prepared for more of the continuing adventures of Ryu in, what was it you called this? Fading Private Ryu? Yep, Fading Private <laughs> Ryu. <laughs> oh, yeah, so All this right. is going to get weird. Buckle up. Bye, guys.